I've had some questions about how to disassemble a Mac Plus for retrograde treatment. I recommend having the service manual for reference, which is available on the internet. You also need to have some compact Mac tools, a case cracker, and a long shaft torque screwdriver or equivalent Allen wrench like this one. First remove the battery cover to reveal one of the five screws you will need to remove to get the back off. Also remove the reset switch if there is one there. Okay, so there's a screw in the battery compartment, here, here, and then two in the recessed handle. The ones in the handle are where the long screwdriver comes in. Use the case cracker to pry the lid off. Using anything else like a screwdriver will just damage the plastic. And so just pry the shell from each side and the back case should pull away at that point. Before going any further, if you have had the computer on recently, there will be a lot of electricity still in the monitor. It must be discharged to make it safe. I won't go into how to do it here, but the connector under the anode cap must be safely grounded. The internet has resources on how to do this, but proceed at your own risk because there is a shock hazard here. Alright, now that you're inside, remove the protective sheet from the bottom to reveal the motherboard. Okay, if we look at it from the other side, we can see two cables that need to be disconnected. The cable to the floppy is simple to pull off. The larger cable has a clip on it and may take some work to release. Be patient and do not pull with excessive force. There may be an easier way to do this, but I haven't found it. The motherboard can be removed from the chassis by sliding it evenly up and out. Now you can put the protective sheet back in place. Now to remove the chassis section you need to remove five more screws. Two here. And three here. The third is tucked in near the analog board and will be difficult to get at. Once these screws are removed, the analog board and chassis can be lifted up and out slightly to get at the monitor screws. There are four screws, one at each corner of the monitor. Now when you remove this screw, take note of the ground wire and make sure it gets reconnected during reassembly. Once all four screws are removed, the chassis the analog board and monitor can be lifted away as one piece. Take care not to strain any of the cables. And you are left with the front bezel, ready for retrobrite treatment. It is best to put the hollow case back together during treatment so the de will be consistent. Okay, thanks for watching and let me know if you have any comments or questions.